This is the test video of the new skinning function on the BZB Pro Smart Skinner biped. Here's a biped mesh that's going to be skinned. I'll put it in reference mode. Drop down menu, credits, what have you. Start section one, create the scale node, execute the sketch skeleton. I'm going to scale this up so it actually is a better fit for the character. I'll make it about two. Come through and actually begin to move these joints around, sketch out the skeleton. get it in the proper proper place this will automate the rigging process from 110 hours to several minutes I'm gonna go as fast as I can do this keep the chatting to a minimum and then translate and rotate these down to the proper location Then rough out the fingers in the right spot. This is the longest part of the process. Let me take this and actually rotate this up slightly. down and you translate rotate and scale the joints into the proper location And this isn't perfect right now, but it's enough to get the point across for the for the test. When that's done, you have it sketched out, hit 3A, that mirrors it, hit 4, it finalizes it, drop down, drop down B, hit 5, creates the leaf joints, move these leaf joints to where you want them in the mesh, hit 5A, it mirrors them, hit 6, it finalizes them, drop down, drop down C, Delete any extra joints that you don't want. Maybe you don't want the hamstrings, you don't want the biceps. Maybe you don't need the pecs, you don't need the lats. From there, select your mesh. Hit button seven to bind. You can select film, next gen, or mobile. We'll select film next gen for referencing the file. That file is then brought in. And I will actually reference this this layer. And then 
you can see v skinning layer brought in. You have an overall global scaler that can actually take this and actually you want to get these yellow handles around this, this mesh. Activate them up, scale it up a little bit. Just so this mesh kind of encompasses the mesh that you need. And then kind of go through here and then basically scale this around just so it actually fits into the proper proper mesh. Don't worry if that looks a little a little weird. You're transferring skinning information. It should look a little weird. Take the mesh, I'll just do one side, and then I actually hit 8B, it copies the skin weights, hit 8C, it unreferences, now you have a clean skin mesh. There might be a little bit of cleanup needed to be done, but for the most part, it skinning is pretty much handled. A little bit of cleanup here and there. Drop down. Hit button 9. Creates a control rig. Hit button below. Makes a cartoony. Drop down below. Makes a facial GUI. And I just completed a rig that's pre-sim with maybe about 5 to 10 minutes of cleanup and about 5 minutes. You can see here you might want to do a little bit of cleanup around this maybe around the calf area of all the foot on this character but this will enable you to do save millions in production costs thank you for your time